Hey guys, welcome to Freak Motion. Today I will show you a crazy typography animation inside of After Effects. You can create different types of text animation easily from here. I got this idea from Envato Elements, and want to share the technique with you guys. So without any further ado, let's jump into the After Effects, and let's get started. First, create a composition with full HD settings as usual. Before moving forward to the video, hitting the red subscribe button will be awesome. Also, hit the bell icon for all the latest updates. Alright, let's take the type tool and type a text you like. Increase the size according to the text. Also align it to the center. Now select the layer, and press Ctrl plus D to make a duplicate of this layer. Let's change the color of the top layer to white. You can choose any color you like. And offset the position something like that. Let's hide the top layer for now. Open the bottom layer. Click on this animate button, and add position. Change the position value something like this. Click on this add button, and add opacity. Then turn down the opacity all the way to zero. Now open range selector 1. On first frame add a keyframe on start, then go forward to few frames, and change its value to 100. Select the both keyframes, and press F9 to easy ease them. Then open graph editor, and change the curve something like this. Make sure you are in edit speed graph. Now turn on the top text layer. Go to the project window, and create a new composition here. Let's call it line. Now take the pen tool, and draw a straight line like this. Make sure it has only stroke enable. Press Ctrl plus K to open the composition settings. Then change the height value to match the stroke width. Just like this. Place the stroke in the center. Then go to effects and presets. And search for wave warp. Apply it on the layer. Increase the wave width value to a high value. Also you can change the wave height value a little bit. You can change the wave type from here, for different animation. Let's keep the sign for now. Go back to the main composition. And bring the line composition in the timeline. Place it at bottom of the first layer. Now go to effects and presets, and search for motion tile effect. Increase the output height value to a high value. On the first frame, Add a keyframe on tile center, then go forward to 5 seconds, and change its Y axis value like this. Then change the track mat to alpha mat. If you cannot find the track mat option here, then click on this toggle switches, or press F4. Select the top two layers, and offset it by 10 frames. Also select the line composition, and press D to open opacity. On first frame, turn down the opacity to zero, then add a keyframe here, then go forward to few frames, 
and change its value to 100. Select the both keyframes, and press F9 to easy ease them. Select the layer, and press U to see the applied keyframes. Adjust the keyframes if needed. Then select these keyframes, and press F9 to easy ease them. Then open graph editor, and change the graph something like this. You can change the shape anytime from here. Alright, let's create an adjustment layer. Go to Effects and Presets, and search for Noise. Apply it to the layer. Change Noise Amount Value to 20%. Then search for Glow Effect. Apply it on the layer. Change these values a little bit to get the desired glow effect. Also add a solid layer for background. Apply fill effect to change the color. Hit space bar to ramp review it. Nice, this looks good to me. Now add some cool elements on the background, and it's ready for use. You can do various things just by changing some value on wave warp effect. So make you you try that. So this is all for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. I will catch you guys in the next video. Till then have fun, and stay safe.